I'm David Pogue. You know, every year at this time, Apple comes out with a new iPhone. Every year I review it in the New York Times. They're usually pretty good. And yet every year I then get this percentage of hate mail. There are just these certain people out there who cannot stand the iPhone. They're, they always run along these lines. Dear Apple butt kisser, you are the most pathetic shill. The iPhone is a piece of If you love Steve Jobs so much, why don't you marry him? Hope you're happy with your piece of phone. Ordinarily, I try very hard to be objective in my reviews, so this stings. So this year, I've gone to the extraordinary length of tracking down the author of that particular message and inviting him here to my home so that we can talk about this on the merits like adults. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Darth Awesome 238 at Hotmail.com. Welcome, Darth. Can I have a Coke? Also, my mom says I've got to get picked up by five. Okay, let me just ask you something. Have you even seen the new iPhone? It's a piece of <laughs> You're not even looking at it. Look, it's the thinnest smartphone in the world. It's, it's much thinner than the old one. The screen has four times the resolution. It's the sharpest smartphone screen in the world. Much sharper than the old one. It's got a five megapixel camera now with a flash. My Android phone has two flashes. Pew, pew, boo. Well, not only that, but what's cool is you can make that flash stay on like a video light when you're filming. It now takes high definition video. My Android phone takes high def videos too. Yeah, but for five bucks, you can actually get iMovie for the iPhone, edit these videos, add music, credits, special effects, and then post the whole thing right to YouTube. Who wants to edit movies on their phone? How about this? You can now make live video calls. Uh, my friend Josh Topolsky over at Engadget has one of these, so I'm going to do a video call with him. One tap. Hey, Josh. Hey, Dave. How's it going? Not bad. Uh, I just wish I had a baby to show off to you here. <laughs> well, keep at it, Josh, one of these days. Uh, now, we should point out that this works only iPhone 4 to another iPhone 4 right now. Yeah, and only over Wi-Fi. Right. Well, listen, thank you so much. You helped me make my point here. Uh, you interrupted my lunch for this? Bye, Josh. My Android phone can make video calls too, and not just at Wi-Fi hotspots. I'm just having a little trouble getting the audio in. It's cool, my many friends are not home. Look man, I just don't understand your deal with this thing. It's super beautiful, it's super thin, the battery's been increased 16%, it's much faster now, the audio quality's improved, it has noise canceling mic at the top, they've added multitasking. You really would characterize this phone as a piece of It's a piece of You know what? Some of the Android phones lately have been really excellent. I agree with you. And in fact, I've said so in my reviews in the New York Times. But you know what? I get hate mail from those reviews too. So today I've got a special treat for you, Darth. I'd like you to meet wickedcoolguy92 at yahoo.com. Wicked cool, come on in here. I'd like you to meet Darth Awesome. Guess what? Darth loves Google's Android operating system. Google is evil. What? Google is trying to assimilate all our information. Phone, email, books, internet. But my Android phone is awesome. And the iPhone's a piece of Android, Google must be stopped. Google I don't understand you. Control. Google they're is using, open source. I can take the battery out, which is incredibly important Gmail to me. <laughs>